Hi guys, welcome back to some more FIFA 14 career mode action with AFC Wimbledon. I've been having a quick look around and I found a player on my shortlist who I'm intrigued to sign. It's, it's Dario Vrojaljak. He has, as you can see from his stats, he has brilliant finishing. His sprint speed, acceleration, balance, and basically it's all his physical attributes are are, are okay for an 18 year old, in fact they're probably pretty, pretty good for an 18 year old attacking position is okay, His aggression, like I keep on saying, mental will get better for me, they should, well they should get better with age ball control is okay, His dribbling is okay, but it's more his shot power his finishing, to me they're they're fantastic, I can get him on loan and I believe he's on 2250 a week, last time I looked, I'm sure, yeah 2250 a week well, we can't buy him. I did have a look at this before, as he's just recently joined the club. But we can, um, we can look to uh, get him on, get him on loan. It said Osborne can scout. I want to see how many players Osborne is currently scouting. He's currently scouting one. He's currently scouting Ua. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Osborne to scout this young guy as well just so we can sort of get of a bit of an idea about his value and then I may look to do a, a loan to buy but obviously with with me looking to loan him in I am gonna sell Mosen I think we could do with the money it would may f it may fund the money for the keeper and the additional wage will fund um, uh, it will fund a loan signing of the striker. So I'm going to allow Mosen to leave the club. Um, let's just check who we have available. Yeah, we have Durasuba, Lopez Silva, Moore, Arthur, St. Louis, and Mosen. So we have six up on the transfer list. And it is going to be a one in, one out following the seven purchases we have made this season so far. Oh, no, don't want to do that. Okay, so let's go and check the team out. I'm considering changing formations as well. I've seen, noticed we do have the players, so we can. Where is it? I've seen it here. Go with the 4-3-3 formation. We do have the players available to play that formation. We will boss the midfield. So, let's go in and see what the assistant says for playing this this way. Um, so it's saying Arthur, which I don't want. I want... Uh, potentially for Heo, who can play on the right? Frankham, no, Sung, yes. And on the left, there was one guy, Laba, there we go. Left wing, Sung, can play right wing. We've got a Zogwe in the centre, we've got Moore, and then we've got Luke Moore. In fact, I want Pell there actually, he's got high defensive, high attacking. Let's have Pell in the middle, as he, he's going to be hopefully the one that goes back more, although Sammy Moore does can play the CDM, so can a Zogwe. Yeah, not a bad formation. Mosen up front, I'm going to go with Robin Singh. I know he's not got the energy, but I can rest Singh in the next game. I'd like to get a win in the cup. I think this is going to be the way. I think this is good. We need the Capital One Cup because obviously there is the chance of getting a um, a big team in the second round and then in the third round, or we could get a smaller team in the third round. Holy shit! Sing Mr. Penalty. Oh dear! And then Brandy scored a minute later. But yeah, um, there's a good chance we could draw a big team in the second round, or hopefully draw a third, a small team in the second round and get through to the third round. As Azogwe made it two one all, but Murphy got. Uh, made it 2-1 as Moore got sent off. Murphy makes it 3-1. Oh, it's a game full of drama. And it ends 3-1. Oh, dear me. So the formation seemed to work, but I am slightly concerned about the shipping of goals. It was Sammy Moore that got sent off. Not I thought it was Luke Moore that got sent off. But no, it was Sammy. 
Yeah, I'm slightly concerned about how many goals we are shipping, so I do really think I need to get that keeper in. There's a transfer offer for Luke Moore. 325,000 is what he's worth, that's what Coventry have offered. So, yeah, let's accept that. I do have Pell, Azogwe and Sammy Moore that can play in that central midfield. Right, Manchester City target Ozil. Transfer offer for Kevin St. Luce. Valued at 160, Knack Breda in the, they're playing in the edge of easy, I think. They've offered 140. Let's accept that. Get him out of the team. Right. Let's get this game done against Sheffield United. Bayern keen on signing Falcao. I like it how it doesn't stop the simulation but just still brings them up there. Right. Let's go and have a look and see what we can do with this squad. Um, more out. Can Reese play there? Not really. Let's have Luke Moore in for one final game. Who else can play right wing? St. Luce? No. Frankham? So. Okay, Frankham it is. Most sense potentially on his way out, so let's have Esmeralda there. Lava out. Vajeo in. Uh, right, let's see how we rock in this game. Obviously, playing Chef United again. Manage my team. I'll oh, be Sammy Moore on the bench, won't it? God damn it. Don't want the assistant manager to do it because it'll change the whole team. Um, after extra time. Yep, Sammy Moore, who should we have? 64, Reese. So you on the bench. Dunasumba, Fenland's looking not bad. Right, let's get this game done against Sheffield United. Can we claw back some dignity? Got beat 3 1 in the cup. Can we take the league points? Obviously, the league potentially is more important in the long run, although a good cup run would give us a bit more finances. And we get beat 2-1. Laba with the goal. Williams was sent off when Sheffield United were 1-0 up. Cuvillier with both goals for Sheffield United. So, that's two defeats in our first two league games. Three defeats in our first three games of the season. Suspension over. Player sold. 120,000. 275,000 from Luke Moore. And Sammy Moore has completed his suspension. Um, right, so then what I'm going to do now is have a look at the wage budget and the transfer budget. If I have 300,000, it gives me 9,400 for wages. So what I'm going to do, actually I'll check the scouting. Uh, Dario Voldraca. Not looking too bad. Do we have a value on him yet? Approach to buy. And the player has just recently joined the club and won't move. No value yet. So I was going to try and put a loan in for him. Obviously the loan to buy, but I'm going to leave that for now. This guy looks fantastic, but I'm going to offer them uh, close to his base value. So I'm going to go 275,000. And see what they say to that. Hopefully they accept that. Can't believe they're what they're, they're wanting to sell him when um, he's down as a future first team player. But we shall see. Hopefully we can get a scout uh, this uh, goalkeeper in pretty soon. Hopefully Barca come back tomorrow and say yes and transfer offer for Marwan Mosen from Millwall. Let's accept that. Get him out. Um, yeah, I was hoping actually that was going to be Barca accepting the deal so on the Monday, and obviously he, we then offer the contract, and he comes on the Tuesday and says we can he'll sign, and we get him in for this game. Uh, oh, we have an office. Stop simulation. Don't move on a day, please. Oh, damn it, it did. Player sold. Mawa Mosin has gone. Jesus. So we can sell players quickly. We just can't buy players quickly. Uh, yes, Singh, you will be playing in this next game. Um, 
Right. So that's two players. Oh, is it just one player gone? Has not Luke's gone yet? It looks like he has. So that's two players who have left. I need to bring in a striker. Sung, let's get you back in there. Morale. He's not looking too bad for the team. It's just Warner. Energy. Okay, let's get Shafey out and get Fenlon in. Rossetti, let's have you out and Velasco in. Is Laba fit? A little bit more, so let's have Laba in the left wing. Right, so actually, oh god, no, Luke Moore's gone as well, hasn't he? Transfer negotiations, who have we recently sold? Yeah, Mohsen Moore and St. Luce have all gone, so that's three players who have left and I haven't replaced them with anyone. We're down to a squad of 25, so we need to look to replace those. Obviously one of those will be a goalkeeper coming in, if not two goalkeepers coming in. There are a couple of young keepers who I am thinking of signing. One of them is uh, uh, you know what, actually I'll get rid of him from the report, get things done quicker. I need at least one keeper in, in, this, in this window. We can't go without only having no backup keeper. Right, Rotherham drew with Chef United, lost to Chef Wednesday, drew with Crew Alexandra. They're playing a 4-4-2 formation. How are we going to get on at home? Can we get our first points of the season? Yes! Two wingers do the job, Jung and Laba with the goals. Champions Cup. Lech Poznan 2. Chelsea 3. Molde 2. Roma 1. Panathinaikos 2. Okay. I can go with that. Standard Liège 2. I can I definitely can live with that. And wow, 12 grand in wages to spend. Ah, player conversation. Thanks, boss. Swindon Town. He says he was the reason behind us uh, winning that game. Right. Now, more importantly, I don't want to search players. My shortlist. Um. I just need to know how much he's valued at. So therefore I can get a put in a, a, a loan to buy offer. Come on, Osborne, come back with a bloody... I'll tell you what, as I'm going after this keeper, I don't need to scout him anymore. So, that means it's only going to be 16 days for this guy. Which, hopefully, is going to be sooner. 16 days, what day are we on in the month? We're on the 19th, so... Ooh, it's going to be end of the month. It's going to be transfer window time. Hopefully we can get this goalkeeper in as Juventus seal 13 million deal for Begovic. Holy shit. We'll never have never seen him going for that much and Barca haven't got back to me yet. Transfer offer accepted. 20% clean sheet bonus, 4 year deal, crucial first team player. Can I get this guy in? I have an extra 5 grand in wages to spend. I don't technically want to spend it all if I can help it. You know what? Why change a winning team? Let's go straight into this game against Crew. Who beat Fleetwood, drew with Rotherham, drew with Chesterfield. I'm not too sure how many of those are league and how many of those are. Well, it's going to be one cup, really, can it? The Capital One Cup. There's only one game in there. Right. 3 2 win for Crew. Laba and Azogwe with the goals. So. Well, look at that, one is four goals on there. So, Crew went 1 0 up and got it back to 1 0. Grant put them 2 1 up, we got it back to 2 0. So, we were never ahead in that game. Always chasing. Not the greatest. And the, I bet the board have got something to say about the last match. After yesterday's disappointing result, the ball feels it important to encourage you to experiment with the team dynamics and find a way to improve our outcome in the next match. Well, when is our next match? 
We've just played Crew. We are playing Plymouth in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. Well, hopefully, our next match will have a new keeper in. It depends if he's going to come back, and I can assume him saying, I don't want to move, but I could be persuaded. Offer accepted, yes. Absolutely fantastic. Milton Keynes Dons, two. Yeovil Two team management. Three, we've gone to a three star team. We've just by let, we've let three players go, brought one in. What is this guy? How? What is his rating? Oh, 66. <laughs> All that, me thinking he's going to be a 70 plus rated keeper. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, he's 25. He could improve. Let's look on the positives. Um, okay. Right, next. Let's try and get a, uh, another striker in. Um, Osborne, have you got any any more news for me? Oh, it's only going to take 11 days now. Do you have a value, a value of 375,000? Fantastic. Approach to buy. Uh, goal bonus, give him 15. Season long loan, future fee. 300,000. Let's see what Norwich say to that. They'll probably say no. They may say yes. They may say no. Right, advance a day. See what we can get done. Two offices. Loan to buy. The club are unsure. Slightly decline. They're unsure if they want to sell him. Okay, so let's just go straight in for a loan. Loan. Goal bonus. Full season. Future fee not set. Let's just get him into the side and see what we can do. We transfer offer for Durasuba. Millwall again. Get that accepted. Right, let's check the team out ahead of this game against Plymouth, was it? It's a three-star team, so we should be winning a load of these games, hopefully fairly comfortably. Rossetti is back in. Bodorov, Velasco, Hoang Sokho, let's have you in. Jung out. Let's get Frankham in. Laba, Vajeo, yes. Bench. I want Warner on the bench. Lava. Yeah, you know what? Let's stick with that team. That will do us for the time being. Central sim match. Oh, we're away. Okay, so they lost to their recent result was a loss to Crystal Palace. That's got to be in the Capital One Cup. If it's not putting league news up there, then obviously that I'm guessing they're in the league below us. Obviously there wouldn't be any Johnson's paint if they were in the championship it's only available to League 1 and League 2 sides. But Blackman has put them 1-0 up after 6 minutes. Fenland, yes, makes it 1-all, 29 minutes. What can we do in the final 40 minutes, final half an hour? Can we get a goal? Laba on, Esmerado on, Piero Reese on. Can we get a goal? 10 minutes. Fenland, don't you dare get sent off into extra time now. First half in extra time is coming to an end. It's ended. Blackman has put Plymouth 2-1 up. Can we get an equaliser? No, we're out of two cup competitions. Fucking hell. Ugh. Okay. Office. Schalke 4, Panathinaikos Oh, no, don't want to do that one. Here we go. Player sold. Durasuba has gone. Got 180,000 loan offer accepted. Johnston's paint Accept that. Get you in. We've got 400,000 and 7,000 available to spend in the um uh, in wages. So we're not looking too bad. Squad. Let's go in and see what this new striker. How the hell have we gone down? I'm guessing we'll get rid of Durasuba. We've gone down. And. Okay. Dvordlak is 64 rated. 
so it's not a bad backup to sing. I know we have Esmeraldo. Um. Okay, so we've got Bodorov and Velasco. I'm thinking, what do we need to do to get back up to a three-star team? And how the hell can we improve this team? We need to look for some 70-rated players, I think. Central defender, central midfielder. Let's have a quick look. Uh, position, midfielder, central. Transfer list. Let's see who is available. Let's we have a bit of a bit of a, a bit of budget to play with. Let's see who is available to buy. Uh, Chris Clark plays for Aberdeen. Hello. Let's see Carlos Caicedo. Caicedo. Wow. Sprint. Jump in. Okay. Ah. Uh, it's a shame. Let down by everything there. Didier Zakora. Ball control. Long pass, short pass. I bet he wants an absolute fortune. 10,000 a week. Cannot afford you. I potentially love to bring him in because he would be the ideal player to have in the centre of midfield. Gabby Mundigay. Strength is okay. Aggression, interceptions. Shot power, long pass, short pass, marking. You're going to be on a ton of cash as well. 4,000. Interesting. Could bring him in from Inter just to help out the midfield. Johannes Wurtz from is that Wolfsburg. 450,000 on four grand a week. He's a cam though, but where else can he play? Centre forward, striker, left wing. Hmm. This guy from Getafe, George Seas, doesn't look too bad. Random. Hmm, they're okay. Ball control. Yeah, it's nothing special. Kevin Oselli. It's a cam. Mark Leas. Okay, there are loads of yellows in there. Interceptions, ball control, heading, long pass, short pass. Costa Silva, a central midfielder. Stamina is good. Sprint speed is poor. Ball control, short pass, long pass, all okay. Michael Richardson, Newcastle. Um, he doesn't look that bad. He may be able to help us out in central midfield. How much? 110,000. Interesting. Hmm, a uh, definite, definite one to have a look at. Acceleration. There's only two there in the 50s and their stamina and strength, so yeah, he's going to get muscled off the ball a lot. His short passing, long passing and ball controller are all good, same as his shot power. The volleys are okay. Central, mid or right back. Nico. Richie Humphreys, 37. No. Solar. He's a cam though. Hmm. I really am intrigued by this uh, Gabby Mundigay. He's got great strength, so he's not going to get muscled off the ball. The only thing is, he's a bit slow. Aggression, interceptions, all good. Long pass, short pass, marking. Um, okay, let's see who's for loan. There's probably a load of loan players available. Come on, yep. So I'm not even going to bother going through all them. Free agents. I can't if I actually looked at central midfield. Clapham. He's got good stats there. Ball control, long pass, short pass. They're not too bad. Posse. Let's have a look at his main stats here. Balance, acceleration. Okay. Ivanov. Okay. Hmm. De Silva doesn't look too bad. Bogdan Lobont. 
Oh, I really don't know what to do, guys. I really am in a quandary as to what to do. I, I tell you what, one thing I didn't do, I could have done... See who is available for um, for loan Premier League midfielders. Let's just see. There may be, there may be all young. There may be one or two older ones. Bio Chow, they get Ryan Tuncliffe, Man United. They're okay. 70, 65, 60. Aggression, ball control. This guy looks pretty good. How much is he on? Approach to loan. Seven grand. Jesus. Ward Prowse, but it's not the uh, Southampton one. Marco Lopez. Josh Pritchard. Balance jumping. Yeah, strength lets him down for a CDM. He's going to need strength. Green. Cole. Christ. Smovs, is that? Southampton, Dominic Duncan, Danny Neal. Just gonna see if there's any names that I actually recognise in the run. Just for potential up and coming stars of the of the well, any current like Premier League stars that we're gonna be able to get on loan. Let's see if the championship has any just on the off chance and then I'll call it there, then I'll do all this off camera. Um There's no one really who is coming out and saying Jordan Jones, I thought I looked at him before he's a cam no there's no one really um, the only other one I can think of looking would be somewhere like when I can find it the Scots Prem just to see if something like Celtic have anyone or Aberdeen or Hibs there may be someone somewhere Dini Horbini. Not the greatest. Fraser Fraser. That's an unfortunate name. Paul Cooper. Thomas Thompson. Jesus. Tony Dingwall. I just, I'm sure this guy is actually quite good. Those stats don't look too bad. Oh dear, then you get to those and they look horrid. Okay guys, I will leave it there as I'm getting pretty frustrated. I just, oh, it may take me a while to have a look at who to buy. But we are currently in 19th position in the league, I thought I saw. Yep, 19th. One win, no draws, three defeats, six goals for, eight goals against. And, wow, we're already six points out of the automatic promotion spots. Sorry, no. We're seven points out of the automatic promotion. I think there's only top two that are automatically promoted, so it's three up, not four. Okay, so we've got a, a job on our hands. This episode is going to go to you guys on Thursday, so I will... Uh, I will not record Fridays until Friday morning to give you guys a chance to to uh, make any suggestions below. We have a bit of money to spend should we want to spend it. But guys, I will leave it there and I will catch you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Cheers.